off to um, Carnarvon Gorge, which is about an eight hour drive from Brisbane. Hopefully we'll get to Roma today, which is about five hours. Um, obviously we've got to add stops and stuff to that. So we're well stocked up, super strong coffee. Gaz has got a can of Coke. Drunk it. And a chocolate bar, because he always has to No, no, bar. no, I don't do Yeah, dubbed you in. I don't like them. He's trying to be good, but never happens. They're like beer, innit? I don't like it. They like stuff. Oh, never catch a drinking beer, guys. No, no, never. Or me glasses of wine. No, no, nah, 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 just don't know. Can't stand it. Horrible stuff, innit? <laughs> Give me water all day long. That's it. <laughs> Now, <laughs> can't go any faster. Um, well, I don't strain the engine, so I'll take it easier. Yeah, we get them. Hence, why we're buying a Land Cruiser. I think it's still gonna be slow going up hill, but yeah, yeah. It be it won't be straining as much. Uh, it still does it, but yeah. Just stopped at one of those free rest stops at Bowmanville. There's a nice little park, toilets, um, park benches and stuff. And while we're here, we always just flick the fridge back onto the gas because if you're here for half an hour, 45 minutes, gas is on. Gives it a boost. Gas is on. It's on. Let's, let's flick it over. Yes. Just put the kettle on for a nice cup of tea gonna make a cheese roll save yourself a bit of money while you're on the road yeah come out my way <laughs> charming oh, isn't it oh I think the toilet roll's gone on the Burton sure. something's fallen out the cupboard that's all right for day use area got everything you need nice pit stop mm. cheese roll I've got a couple of uh, crackers with cheese. Oh. A cup of tea. Where are we in this? Bowen Bill. Hmm. Toilet's a little bit dirty, but it's like that sometimes. Just wash your hands when you come out. <laughs> hmm. right. So we found this free camp spot just nine kilometers west out of Roma. It's, time's getting on. It's okay, there's nothing here. It's just like a bit of grass off the highway. Um, and what's it called, Gaz? Can you pronounce it? Right, this is, a, this is gonna be a mouthful. Bungawagal Creek, I think. <laughs> it's on God, see if you can say it. It's on Wiki Camps, I'll have a go. Bergy Wogorai Creek. I think that was even worse. <laughs> anyway, it's all right for a night. If time's getting on, it's like nearly six o'clock, is it? Like that, yeah. yeah. It's um, it's free, so we don't care. Yeah, and we're heading to Roma tomorrow. Stock up on supplies and straight onto Carnarvon. Which would be cool. Anyway, having a beer, a glass of wine.
We deserve this today. It's been a long drive, isn't it? Yeah. Left at 9 o'clock this morning. We've only just stopped. So, uh, it's a long way, isn't it? We've stopped over. Is it this a do us? Yeah, cool. Cheers. Classic meal tonight. All time classic. Egg and beans on toast. As it's getting late, you can't beat it. G gourmet meal tonight. <laughs> All tastes good though, doesn't it? Yeah. All tastes the same. Toast is going on. That'll be going under in a minute. Yep, yeah. yeah, you've got to have it. When you're hungry, you're hungry. Sometimes just yeah. got to be done. Yeah, has not it? Well, we left Roma a little bit later than expected. We went to the supermarket, stopped all up, went to the bottle shop, got all our wine and beer. Filled the tank up with diesel because um, Rome is the last sort of main town before you get to Carnarvon, and then there's a fuel stop at Ingen. Um, somebody asked us yesterday, um, and yeah, that's we checked it out. That's the last fuel stop, and then before you go into Carnarvon. On the road to Carnarvon. Camp's all set up, lovely bush setting. Here's our camp. Gaz has got the beer already. Drunk it, I've got it. Touch the sides, don't I? We'll chill out tonight with a drink and uh, we'll have a little explore tomorrow. Out for me. All set out for another day. We see some kangaroos or oh, wallabies. Come here. Yeah. There's one over there, little one. And then the big one just come through, he's bigger than the knee. We thought a big bug and he went that way. So cute. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. He's having a good look around. Oh no, no, it's coming in. Oh, no. Off the tree. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh. Um, we're at Sea Breeze Big Four. Well, it's not Sea Breeze, it's Breeze Big Four. Uh, Carnarvon Gorge. It's changed hands from um, it used to be called what was it? Taka something Bush Resort. Yeah, it was really really cool. Um, well, it still is, um, but obviously they've sold out. Um, but exactly the same. Nothing's changed. Um, as you can see in the background, as I set up the caravan. 
which is quite cool. A little bit pricey, it's 45 a night for an unpowered site and there's no water hookup or anything. But you're paying for the location, it's just absolutely gorgeous bush set setting. Yeah, um, just got the solar panel out over there at the moment, the uh, 200 watt solar blanket. Just because I'm, I'm not really getting any solar on the top, just to recharge the batteries a bit. Not that we really need it, we've got 90%. We've got 400 amp hours of lithium, so we've got absolute loads. So that's just wired in straight into here, which is plugged into the front of the van, which is behind there, which I haven't got out at the moment because I can't show you. And then um, obviously I've got the, um, oh, let them go past. And over there we've got the truck over there with two one sixes on the roof, which are pumping loads of power into the battery, which is keeping the fridge nice and cold for the beers and the wine later. And this is going to be an ongoing event. Move the solar blanket about 10 times this morning, move the truck, watching the solar input, watching how much the batteries are charged. Do you believe that? Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute rubbish. Absolute rubbish. The lovely trees here. Um, we had to stop at Roma and go to an auto electrician to fix the uh, solo uh, input to the truck because when we were driving it wasn't charging properly. So we found the fault which is good and got it fixed. So we left there a bit late and the time we got here it was at five o'clock, wasn't it? Something like yeah. that. Yeah, so we five. recommend that, no, was it Nomad's? Yeah, Nomad's auto electrician in um, Roma. They were really good, they fit this in, they were really busy and they said, oh we'll have a quick look. They managed to fix it, which I'm really appreciative of. So uh, yeah, Nomad's. If you're in, if you're in uh, Roma and you want to uh, get something fixed, go and see them guys, they're pretty good, I must admit. So, um, cool. Okay. Be great to be a kangaroo. All they do is sleep and laze around all day. <laughs> cool, kangaroo, it? a didgeridoo. Cool, wasn't it? Yeah. Here he goes again, moving the solar. I'll go on up. I got my son on the roof. We're off to climb the bluff, and then after that, we we'll see how we feel. We might go up to Moscow, no? Yeah. It's quite nice, isn't it? Well, this is 6.4 return back to here, but we've already a bit along the track. We yeah. might. And a bit of a steep climb. I mean, we're like, yeah. yeah we're, we're, we're going. We we'll see. Go. See how the legs hold up. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was a steady walk to here, and now we're gonna go up the bluff. It was cool, it? pretty quick to hear, we've got a steady motor on because we've got our walking sticks. Easy, let's go. Go guys. You can be leader. Oh, careful. Good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Who wins? Dares. Who dares wins? Who dares wins? That's it. Drink water. Drink water. Yeah. Let's do it. Cool, nice. It's amazing. I don't want you crying again. I'm not going to cry. 
I cried last time I was here because the views were so amazing. Let's see. Let's see if you get the same feeling. Yeah. Sometimes it just gets you. Yeah. The effort it takes to get up to these places. And then the views when you're here. Are, uh, yeah. Pretty damn special. Well. We've got these two ourselves, Denise, haven't we? Oh. We just met one few guys, they're going down, there's no one else coming up. We didn't see. What do you reckon this? Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely spectacular. Look at that. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh, Miss someone else up here. Amazing, it. Put my glasses on. Look at that. Then that goes up the gorge. That's where all the walks are. You start off out here, and you walk all the way up. There's loads of walks. It's pretty damn special, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, what do you reckon? It's stunning. Cool? Yeah, cool bananas. Awesome. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? Brilliant. Oh, it's lovely up here. Coffee time, isn't it? Coffee time, yay! Is it good having the sticks coming down, guys? Yeah, it's brilliant. You need the sticks. You will see old knees going up and coming down, but it's better coming down when you've got a bit of weight on your back. Um, definitely. Helps your knees. By the end of the day, when your knees are really sore, this just takes that little bit of pain away. Um, so it makes you last a bit longer, doesn't it? Yeah. Or your knees seize up, and you're like, oh. especially when you're coming down these big rocks. Oh, definitely. Just on the flat ground, it makes you move quicker. I think. Yeah. Oh, you can power it along, can't you? Yeah, a lot quicker. Come on, Snarly, are we up? I'll shut up your tart. <laughs> The limber buffs smashed it. Only gonna smash it, haven't we? Again. Right there, so now we're going to um probably go to Moss Garden, I think. Which is two point five K's from here. Yeah, or amphitheatre, I don't know. We'll see. Which is three point three. So we'll see how we go for supplies and legs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. What's that? Here we are at Moss Garden. I do you can feel the drop in temperature. It's just nice and cool. Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. Oh, it's just lovely. Let's go and have a look. Yeah. Look, so here we are at Moss Garden. It's just beautiful. And uh, we'll do it to ourselves at the moment because everyone's left. It's yeah, cool. we've probably so, got this minute opportunity. There's the moss. Here it goes to show you. Oh, it. And it says the sandstone above you soaks up rainwater like a giant sponge. Over thousands of years, this water seeps down through the stone. Eventually, the water meets an impenetrable layer of rock known as shale. With nowhere else to go, the water moves sideways, trickling out from the wall. You can see here, look. You can see mm. it's right there, and it comes down there, and it comes out the side. See? Yeah. There's no muck up there, but it was down here. Because it's dark at the moment, but it makes sense. That's amazing. What's it, guess? It's the moss garden. We're full of useful 
information, well, I wouldn't say useful information, but maybe unuseful information, <laughs> but this is Carnarvon Gorge and this is the moss garden and it's amazing. It's been here millions of years. And then and it's amazing we've actually got it to ourselves because it's been like Piccadilly Circus here. We've been sitting waiting for ages. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Yeah, and I've got a waterfall in the background. A little baby one. But it's cool. Awesome. And oh, on the walk up the bluff we actually met someone that's been watching our videos. Yeah, awesome. That's quite, that's quite cool. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Anyway. Let's chit chit chat, let's get moving, come on. Yeah, let's get going. In case anyone hasn't noticed, I've got a new hat. Looks ex I know, it looks exactly the same as the old hat. But I made a mistake of washing the old hat and it went all a bit funny. So I went in one shop, $220 for a hat. Winning big W, nine bucks. Winning. Tight ass. Oh, it's tight ass. Here she is. I was tight ass. I was squeaky. <laughs> squeaky. <laughs> well, that being tight gets us more adventures. Exactly. Why pay, waste two hundred dollars on a hat when you can pay nine dollars? Yeah. Makes sense to me. More money to have fun. Here, Come to a place here, like this. Stop. What? Follow me for more uh, money saving tips. It's true though, isn't it? Yeah. You know, pays for fuel to get here and do this sort of stuff. Yeah. It'd be cool, wouldn't it? Why don't I waste, you know, $190 on a hat extra? Yep. Or 191 No, it was 220 Oh, was mine. it? Come on. 220 for a hat? Yeah. And you paid $9? Yeah. What a difference. I mean, we don't waste money. Oh, no. We'd rather be here doing this than wasting our money. Yeah. Oh, look at this, looks cool, this. What are we doing this? Obviously out there. Are you going to go across? Not that way. It's all an adventure! Yay! That looks nice. Yeah, it's nice. Let's look. Old Dora's back in town, look, waiting for her. Uh... Come on! Oh, I've been playing and I. Been playing with me, me new I've machine. I've got wine waiting for me. Oh yeah, a vat, a vat of wine. Uh -huh. I ho, I ho. It's off to camp we go. That's it. True friend, what? Oh. <laughs> I don't suppose people know their efforts anymore. Nah, I suppose not. Easy. Oh, oh, nice. What you got there? Um, beef blade roast. We're gonna try this out on the Weber. Yeah, good going. So we've heated it up for ten minutes, and then you do need, if you're doing it as an oven, you need <coughs> your tray foil and trivet. Mm. So we're gonna put it on there. <coughs> right side. Plonk. That on there. We're going to mm. leave it on the high setting for about 10, just to get a bit of heat into it, and then we're going to turn it to halfway. Cool. Yeah, and we reckon for that size, we like it medium to well done, sort of about an hour and a half, but we'll check it in an hour. Yeah, should be nice, shouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I've got my meat thermometer gauge. Just check the beef after an hour, it needs a bit longer. And then I've just stuck in the veg, potatoes and stuff. I would have stuck it in earlier, but we've got too busy chatting to people like you do. So I'll check it in a bit. Just taking the core temperature. And we're out there. Beef medium, so I'll take it off because it will continue to cook a bit in itself. Oh, yeah. Let it rest. Okay, you don't leave the vegetables on there, Yeah. Uh, a knife or a foot that I don't want to see the plate towards you. Yeah, it might be. Can't get it, can you? Or can you? Uh, Yay! Needed a bit of gazzy power. <laughs> now I just need to put that down. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to get a bit of it. Move it over. 
lit down. Shut the lid. Resting on the Weber. Lovely. We're making our way back up to Sandstone because we've been invited to go up there and watch the sunset. So that's nice. And they said any, anyone's welcome to go up and uh, join in with people that are camping there and watch the sunset together. So here we go. So that's where we're going right now. Cool, eh? We're ready, waiting for sunset. Cheers. Mm. Lovely bubbly. Lovely bubbly. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, here we are again. We're going to hopefully do Ward's Canyon Art Gallery and Amphitheatre. We're going to go to the furthest point first, which is Wards Canyon. Oh no, sorry, it's Art Gallery, 10.8 kilometres return, and then pick these up on the way back. Awesome. Let's go, let's smash it. Okay, let's go. We've actually decided to stop at the amphitheatre on the way, just in case later on it's busy. Here we go. Looks like this is the entrance up ahead. Oh. Really impressive. Wow. The amphitheater. It's cool, isn't it? Really impressive, hey? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. So you've got to do the, uh, the calls. Oh! Yeah. We've got it to ourselves, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. The of course it is. For about a minute, probably. It's really hard to catch this it, because it's all on the top of it. Yeah. But we can do the echoes. Go on, Elise, do it, do it. Oh! Oh! Echoes this. Look at it. Cool bananas! It's all natural. Awesome. Love you, awesome. So cute. There he goes. And another China centimeter one way. Oh. Easy. Let's do do it. this. Alternate people get in and then go off and do some more. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's All go. Right, yeah, steep pace. Yeah. That's steep. Let's follow Denise, see where she's going. Up, up, and up. Do you want to sit on the wimps bench? Yeah, that's where the wimps sit. Right there. Denise just got up off there because she's a wimp. Come on, wimp. No time to spare. Thank you. 
out. Look at the colour of that water. It's nice, isn't it? Well, it's lovely, isn't it? Tell you what, I reckon, I reckon, I don't know if I could be trial after ask Denise if it's okay. Yeah. This could be top coffee time, couldn't it? It could be coffee time. <coughs> I reckon. In Ward's Canyon. You want to go in the end first? Yeah. Could come back here and have coffee. I reckon so. It's on the cards. I oh, know. Got it to ourselves, okay. natural wonders like this. And we managed to get it to ourselves. Snagged it. How cool is this? Water skin. It's pretty nice. Let's get off coffee yet. Yeah. It's pretty spectacular. Oh, it's great. Carnarvon is like fantastic, and it's not a walk. There's just some of them. We ain't done half of them yet. Well, we have. But it's a low mile too. Even got like a viewing platform. Well, not a viewing platform, but railings. Coffee this is, time. This is on coffee time. Coffee time. Ooh, I might take my hat off. Let some of the heat out and the sweat. We was, That's not hot. We was putting it in. To get here, weren't we? Worth it though, wasn't it? Now we get to have a nice air coffee. And coffee. It's nice and cool here, lovely. Lovely. It's always worth looking at the information boards because this says this is a canyon lost in time. Um, and it's the only place in central Queensland where ancient plants survive. Wow. Because as Australia's climate became dry and hotter, the rainforests along with the king ferns retreated to coastal fringes. But under this canopy here, is where the world's largest ferns grow, the king fern. So it's a pretty cool place. Here he is, king fern. This is his home. Bye bye, king fern. Bye bye. King fern. Yeah. They're all here. Absolutely loving life. Easy, nice, isn't it? We've got the right gear. Yeah, got a sticks for your balance. We decided to walk the uh, four k's from the art gallery to the cathedral cave. Bring it on. So we're going to go up there now. Yeah. Next bit. Oh, it's amazing. Look at it. Look at all this right in the gorge. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, stunning. Dinosaurs in Jurassic Park, you said earlier, you can imagine them poking their heads out of the grass. Yeah. Ra the raptors. Raptors. Yeah, it feels like that, doesn't it? Yeah. We come to another river crossing soon, I guess. Yeah. It's 
paradise. It is absolute paradise, yeah. Ooh. That's nice. I'll be going over there. It's like a little good balance, I can say. <laughs> it is lucky. Hey? More than lucky. I'm trying to film and walk across the little steps down. shows not as many people do this bit because more overgrown. Yeah, that's it. So you're Gary the cameraman. Yeah. What are you? Gazzy Wazzy the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> Adventurer. Yeah. Sheer rocks. Right down the middle of the gorge at the moment. Looking right up the spine. It's not too far, is it? It's not overly strenuous. You can't explain how wonderful it is. To Cathedral Cave, and now it's lunchtime. Rap attack. And you don't want that. Huh? Mm. We're going to look in a minute after we've refueled ourselves. Pretty spectacular. You got to see it with your own eyes. Pretty cool. Huh? Hey? Pretty cool. We decided to walk the extra 500 metres to Big Bend, just into the campground. Uh, we thought we'd just come back to here, do a little bit of filming of all the rocks. Beautiful. You can see it's absolutely lovely. So and it's about 10 k's from the visitor centre. Yeah, about 10 k's. Not too bad. But yeah, it's pretty spectacular. Well, yay! <laughs> That's it. So. How awesome is it, guys? Yeah, it's awesome. Really good. Very cool. Good walk here. Good fun, isn't it? A lot of people say don't bother walking to Big Ben, but I think it's worth it. It's amazing. That's yeah. cheap, isn't it? Yeah. Good idea. Here she is. 23 k's later, Nisi, get her out of here. She's done enough. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Hey! Hey! That was good, Nisi, wasn't it? Smashed it. Again. Again. Okay, we're just going to go for a walk around the campsite. Yeah, looking at all the other bits of kit. Um, yeah, it's a nice bit of security, nice trucks, nice caravans. Um, yeah, just a good have a look at it sometimes. There's a um, general store. Uh, all natural bush setting, which is nice. Yep, they have a happy hour here from 5 to 6, isn't it? Yeah, happy hour 5 to 6. That's if there is a wine or. It's quite nice. No, no, no bring your own. No bring your own anymore. Um, yeah. That's quite cool. It's nice. It's not too far from the Carnarvon, is it? No. It's only, uh, I don't know, what's it, five, ten minutes? Yeah, something like that. Into the Carnarvon Gorge and all the walks. 
go, it's a perfect little spot. Oh, go kart hire, there's the kids up there on the go karts. And Mav. Yep. And then you've got this bit here with the old rig for the kangaroos, which uh, we did the every, other day. Every photo? Yeah. Quite a good site, there's toilets and shower block laundry over there. There's your dump point. They've got little cabins here. There's your water. Oh, yep, yeah, potable water. Little cabins if you haven't got anything to sleep in. Or you can't be asked to set something up. Great all that. Yeah. Coffee in the morning. Oh. Oh, there's a couple of cockatoos. A couple of cockatoos <laughs> over here. We've got up early for sunrise and come up to sandstone. Let's see you there, coffee. It's, yeah. um, it's quite nice. Got, to, got my jump on. Very hard. It's cold out, but it's not too bad, actually. Yeah, I'm not cold, actually. All the mountains in the background, no. Lovely. I don't even see it. Hopefully the sun will shine on there yeah. when it comes up. Yeah, it's stunning, isn't it? We can't, it's really hard to catch up. How beautiful is that? It's lovely. I think we'll have a shimmer of cloud over the sun this morning, that's the only problem, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be I, nice though. I'll try it. Today we're doing Bewindo Gorge, which is right down the other end where Big Bend is. So I thought I've got my GI Jane clothes on today. And you've had to wear your trainers, haven't you? Because your boots are. Yeah, um, I think I've got a little injury there and it was pushing on it, so I've had to wear my trainers today. And so mine, slip over. I've had to wear my work boots because that my boots are starting to fall to pieces. About time I bought myself a new pair. Hey. Let's anyway, go. let's go. I've got time to muck about you. Yeah? Come. On. Well, we've just walked the 9.2 k's to the Buwinda Gorge turn in, and I think it's about two k's walking in the gorge. So uh, yeah, we're going to do it. See what it's like. Let's go. go. Here she is. Oh, GI. GI Jane. Cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's hard going over all the rocks. Yeah. The train's hard going, but we've got through the gorge. It's cool in here. Out of that yeah, sun. Cool. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. You alright? Better than watching Netflix. Oh yeah. We're out here doing it. Yeah. And later we can go and watch the sun sunset on the hill. Oh! No echo. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's brilliant, isn't it? Come on, it's adventure. We love adventure. We can't help ourselves. We got two k's of that walking over these rocks. Let's hope we don't twist an ankle. <laughs> this is the part where you can climb up to the spur. So we're going to need to go, Gaz. Yep. Go. You up for it? And um, you looks like you climb up. You can't go to the spur. It's just too far. But we can climb safe. We'll see how we go. Well, that's what we just climbed out. 
Wow, really, really steep. Let's go and have a look. The views are amazing, but it's quite a few k's to the battleship. Like it's probably about another ten. If you're camping out there, great. But we're not, and we've got to get down. Get down, which is going to take a while. Walk on the creek, which is two k's all over all them boulders, and then we got about ten k hike back. Hike back. So we've run out of time. We're not going to do it. And we're going to have to hike back. Now we've got to go all the way down back into the gorge. So we've got to go down here. It'll take a bit of time. An hour back up the gorge, out to the walk, then another 10k hike back to where we parked. So uh, we'll see what happens. Had a noise then. Could be a snake, could be a roo. I don't know. <laughs> Making our way back down. Very, very steep. We've walked quite a way already, and I still think there's quite a way to go down yet, guys, isn't there? Oh good. See you down the bottom. Right? See you down the bottom. Yeah, okay. Well we made it back. It was a long way. Castle burned a bit. Okay, made it. so we walked 19 Ks past Cathedral. Yeah. One and a half Ks into Bewinding Gorge across boulders. Yeah. Climbed the cliff face of the gorge yeah. and all the way back. How yeah. do you feel? Knackered. <laughs> I feel alive! <laughs> alive! <laughs> <laughs> no, we're all good. Come on, let's go. Uh, let's go.